Throughout history, cultures across the world link these hallucinations to black magic, mythical monsters, and even paranormal activity. Unseen night demons in ancient times, the old hag in Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, and alien abductors. The most famous representation of the phenomenon was that of the Swiss artist Henry Fuseli's 1781 painting, The Nightmare. A young woman lies limply, sprawled across her bed in a swoon, as the incubus grotesquely squats on her stomach, staring at the viewer, as if to draw them into her nightmare. The painting is the clinical presentation of sleep paralysis, literally. What happens during sleep paralysis? Sleep paralysis is caused by what appears to be a basic brain glitch at the interface between wakefulness and rapid eye movement REM sleep. During rapid eye movement REM, you have intensely lifelike dreams. To prevent us from acting out these realistic dreams and hurting ourselves, our brain has a clever solution. It temporarily paralyzes our entire body. Indeed, our brain has a switch, which are a handful of neurochemicals that tilts us between sleep and wakefulness. Sometimes the switch fails, however. Our brain inadvertently wakes up while our body is still under the spell of REM paralysis, leaving us stuck in a paradoxical state between parallel realities, wakefulness and REM sleep. During sleep paralysis, the crisp dreams of REM spill over into waking consciousness like a dream coming alive before our eyes, fanged figures and all. These hallucinations, often involving seeing and sensing ghostly bedroom intruders, who develops sleep paralysis? Up to as many as 4 out of every 10 people may have sleep paralysis, and between 8% to 50% of people experience sleep paralysis at some point in their life. This common condition is often first noticed in the teen years, but men and women of any age can have it. Causes of sleep paralysis Lack of sleep, mental conditions such as stress or bipolar disorder, sleep schedule that changes, other sleep problems such as narcolepsy or nighttime leg cramps, sleeping on the back, use of certain medications such as those for ADHD, substance abuse, a family history of sleep paralysis. What can be done about sleep paralysis? There is no need to fear nighttime demons or alien abductors. If you have occasional sleep paralysis, you can take steps at home to control this disorder. Start by making sure you get enough sleep. Do what you can to relieve stress in your life, especially just before bedtime. Try new sleeping positions if you sleep on your back, and be sure to see your doctor if sleep paralysis routinely prevents you from getting a good night's sleep. Imagine waking up in the middle of the night to a mysterious ghostly figure with blood dripping down its fangs. You're trying to scream, but you're not able to. You cannot even move a single muscle. If this sounds familiar, you might have experienced a traumatic episode of sleep paralysis, which involves the inability to move or speak while falling asleep or awakening and is often associated with hallucinations.